Welcome back to Closing Bell on the 5th of October 2020, Monday. So the news today is Donald Trump might be coming off hospital and the stock market's looking very momentously strong. But in this session, I'm going to be focusing on four stocks which you should consider in your portfolio to buy on the momentum. Yes, the first stock, my favorite, one of my hyper growth stocks in my previous video is CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike went up to 4 to 5% today while it's already hitting highs. Why? Goldsman Sack today upgraded them to a buy. They call them tech leader and best in class for cyber security. That's a very big statement coming from this big Goldsman Sack, folks. And think about it, there are other competition like Palo Alto, NetCloud Flare, and many more. If they call them the best in class and leader, it means a lot. They have information we don't know. And from insider information, I know that this work from home economy is benefiting companies like banks and institutional uh, companies. They are looking to enhance their cybersecurity. And do you know what? CrowdStrike is getting a lot of these new contracts. That's all I'm telling you. And you can do your research and find out more. So I have bought them on the momentum today. Add a few more stocks in just to top up my portfolio on this very good news. The second stock, McDonald's. McDonald's is up 1.2%, not much. But remember, McDonald's is one of those stay-at-home stocks. People are asking, what are stay-at-home stocks? McDonald's, stay-at-home stocks, deliver to your home stocks. Restaurants are closing, but not McDonald's stocks. That is McDonald's stocks. So why do you want to own the likes of AT&T, Dell, Amex, IBM for you value investors when you can buy McDonald's who are growing still and then you could dividend growth? What else can go wrong? So McDonald's, the other final thing I want to say about McDonald's is they're also tech disruptor. If you go and buy and queue at McDonald's just now, you can see a queue for folks and a queue for Deliveroo's, Uber Eats and all those companies. McDonald's have already established that technology within the holistic business. Many other businesses like Pizza Hut and all are closing down. They are not catching up onto these businesses. So McDonald's is the leader in fast food and also delivery, which is now substantially providing 75% of their revenue. That's McDonald's. And next one, next one might be new. You have not spoken about it before, DraftKings. I like DraftKings. I heard about them when Michael Jordan signed on their board. Who is DraftKings? Basically, it's a gambling company. Cut a long story short, gambling. We all love gambling company because with the stay at home economy, more people stay at home, kind of go out to watch sports. We can't go to the bars because we're spreading coronavirus. Companies like DraftKings are benefiting from this economy. People are gambling on fantasy sports. People are cannot go on holidays. People are crazy. They can't go to stadiums, but they want to put a punt. They want to gamble. So stay in home stocks. And why did DraftKings drop 6%? You're asking, Alex, you're asking us to buy. Why? Because you buy on the dip, guys. Buy on the dip. Okay, the news that I have is 32 million class A shares have been issued. That means new shares is diluting the company. So why buy? 16 of those are owned to the public and 16 of those are to be the selected buyers, which means institutional investors. If you check out this chart here, the last institutional investors big buy was last month. It's about like 4 billion, 5 billion. And it's not much. You've got uh, companies like Goldsman Sachs investing, Vanguard. They're looking for more people to invest. Despite the fact they're overvalued. Who cares they're overvalued? These companies are in for the momentum run. Okay, these companies are the future, the future of sports. People are gambling. People are not investing. Some people are gone investing. Some people are gambling. This is the future. So they are changing. They're changing the disruptive technology of people, how to spend money. If you can travel, why not? Take a punt, go gamble. I don't gamble, but this is what people are. But when you issue these funds, isn't diluting the market, Alex? Look at Fiverr. I know Fiverr very close. They issued additional shares at $63. Back around about June, everybody said it's a time, it's going to fall. And guess what? Institutional investors started buying. They started buying and then pop, it went to 120. So this is where the benefit of this momentous stocks will be going. So for me, I bought some DraftKings as a study. I bought a, under a grand. So I'm starting to top up. I'm starting to watch and buy on a dip or buy on a momentum. I'm starting to watch the so DraftKings. It's in my portfolio. But for you, those in the UK looking, what are the stocks if you can go DraftKings? 
Flutter Entertainment. That is my favorite one in the UK. I used to uh, invest in them. They've grown 5x for me. I've left, but they've grown even further. So Flutter Entertainment is opposite for the UK-based ones. And finally, 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 I would like to speak about my all favorite stock, NVIDIA. NVIDIA went up 4%. They're hitting 550. Remember a couple of weeks back when I was still screaming for everybody to buy, they were 470. Did you get any of NVIDIA? No, no, no. Is it too late? Listen up. Why did they go up 5% today? So we were worried at one point that the ARM takeover might not happen. That they might get blocked by the British government for selling ARM to NVIDIA. But that's not happening. NVIDIA Jensen Huang is really smart. They said, get these guys involved. If they can produce ARM, get them involved. So they are producing a super AI computer chip. It's called Cambridge One. Keyword, Cambridge One, meaning they're going to keep the jobs in the UK. Good news for me, good news for, for NVIDIA. We're going to keep, the second part is they're going to go global. If they want to stay in the UK, they are going to go global. And number three, AI. Last week, NVIDIA announced their collaboration with VMware. And now they're going to be collaborating more with their own internal company, sorry, ARM. So the great thing, the other news that I heard about is this Cambridge One processor is 400 petaflops, guys. 400 petaflops. What does it mean? I wouldn't know what 400 petaflops means. It sounds really fast. But what I like is Matt Hancock, our health secretary, says that this will be part of the biotech era. It will help us beat grow vaccines. So it sounds like this supercomputer is trying to branch out into biotechnology. Another disruptor, which I really like. I'm looking forward to hear more about supercomputing in biotechnology sector. You all are asking me, Alex, is it too late to buy? I've told you guys many times to buy Nvidia when there was under 500. So we're hitting a very staple pick point 550. I personally wouldn't buy it because I bought a lot under 475, 480. It's up to you if you want to take the risk because the risk reward is a bit high. We have to watch news or we have to wait for the next quarter. But if you want to get in, you can buy on the dip because NVIDIA is still a great leader in semiconductor. It's the best. So this is me on the new style version of my closing bell, focusing on stocks that I like and the stocks that I want to buy. Because at the end of the day, this is my show and I want my viewers to understand what is the great stocks out there to watch out for. So thank you for staying with me. Please like and subscribe. And hopefully to see you tomorrow for more Closing Bell. Bye.